My name is John Hamilton. This is my wife, Judy. We've been married 50 years. It was 2006. My family doctor sent me to a neurologist. First thing he said to me was, I know what's wrong with you. I said, well, I hope you do, because I don't think there's anything wrong with me. He said, you have Parkinson's, and I, I, I wouldn't accept that. And I knew what Parkinson's was, but not a lot about it. But I knew that it would change our lives, but I tried not to look too far down the road because I thought it wasn't a very happy picture. So we just started at that point living day to day. He's kind of lost his zest for living. He doesn't get excited about things like he used to. He's always been strong. I've, I've seen him walk down a ditch bank in 120 degree heat carrying a whole armful of irrigation pipe and never miss a step. So when he has a hard time walking and when he can't do the things he used to do, I think it's very difficult for him. I think that's hard for both of us. It's changed both our lives. I've been an agriculture farmer all my life. We thought that when he retired, he would have time to work with horses and enjoy that. It's hard to get up, hard to get down, hard to lean one way, one way. I can only turn my head halfway, and I don't think as fast as I did before. I can't farm anymore. I can't drive a tractor anymore. I just can't do anything anymore, it doesn't seem like. But I do have a riding lawnmower, and I can get up on it finally, and I cut the grass. That's the only enjoyment that I get almost out of life, other than people. People, people are really nice to me, and I enjoy that. We've been monitoring the Michael J. Fox Foundation website, and we hear that stem cells are the future for neurological diseases like Parkinson's, and so we're very hopeful about that. And we've met Mrs. Comella, Kristen Comella, and she is a gracious, knowledgeable woman, and we're excited to work with her. We would enjoy a more active life with our grandchildren. The process is stem cell treatments and some dietary changes, and I'd like my husband to feel better. Just feel better. It's difficult to ask for money. Thank you for us, and thank you for other people with Parkinson's that our experience might help. I think it would change our lives if it worked, but if it didn't work, we would have done our best to try to do that, and maybe to try to help other people in the process. What do I think about people that support me? I think they're the best people in the world.